this video, we'll look into Python variables. Here, I have taken two variables x and y. x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. So I said x is equal to y is equal to 1. Print of x, print y. Here, I'm deleting x. Telx deletes the x and print x and then print y again. So let us see. Execute. So initially x is equal to y is equal to we have printed x with 1 and y is 1 and we have deleted x. So when we deleted x and trying to print x, we are getting this error. Name error x is not defined. So we didn't continue and print y because we have deleted. Now let us look at local variables. Local variables can be accessed inside function but not outside. So here I have taken a variable x is equal to global. So this is outside the function. Here we are, I am defining this function def and lcl is the function name. And here we are defining again x is equal to local. This x is local and that x is global. So here we are printing x and we are uh, calling this lcl function here so when we call this lcl function it will print the this x is local and here we are printing x this should be the global x so let us execute this so initially we call this uh, lcl function so it, it has printed x is uh, local and after that we came out of that function and then printed x again and here the x is value is global so the local uh, and global variables can be declared in python now if we want to access the same value inside and outside the function then we say global variable can be accessed inside and outside the function so here we use the global keyword inside the function def lcl we are using the global keyword global x x is equal to i have defined this uh, as a global and local just the value for that is global and local and print inside comma x so this part is inside the, we are printing inside the function and we are calling that uh, lcl function as before and here we are printing outside the function outside and then x because this is being declared as global x this can be accessed both inside and outside let us see what does so inside it is printed as global and local and outside also it has printed as global and local so, so it's the same value we are accessing inside and outside the function that's how we can uh, use the global keyword to access the same value inside and outside the function now let us look at non-local variable so initially we'll uh, look at the execution without non-local variable that's why i commented this part of the code and then we'll uh, uncomment this part of the code and see what is the difference when we take this non-local variable so here i have taken x is equal to a and define this function fn and inside the function fn i define x is equal to b and this fn function has got these functions function f fn1 which has got x is equal to local x has been assigned to a this local variable now definition of a uh, function f2 but uh, fn2 we have commented currently and there is one more uh, function fn3 here we have declared uh, x as global and x has been assigned global now inside this fn function now initially we call this fn1 and printed x i denoted this uh, Keywords because we know where which x it is printing. 
So this part we currently commented. We'll uh, uncomment it later and see. And we are seeing the difference between local and non. I mean between uh, non-local and uh, local and global. Fn3. Now we called Fn3 and print x Fn3. And again we called Fn1 and printer printing x again. Inside this, all these functions are inside this main function fn so here when we come out of this fn i am calling this the this main function and printing x again here and this is outside that function that's why i just commented it as out and now debug start without debugging now let us compare the code and see here i have copied the code onto a notepad and let us see now here x is equal to a and this one what is the first print statement here we call the fn here so it, it will enter this fn function and then inside this fn function we call fn1 so it will go here and here x is local but there is no print statement inside this fn1 function because this variable is local to this fn1 function so x can be local when we are giving a print statement here so at this point x will be b because inside this fn x is b so it has printed the b fn1 so this part is b fn1 and then we call this part we have commented currently so let us leave that and then we call fn3 fn3 is this function here we are given global x and x is equal to global but x and when we uh, when we give print of x here it won't take global because global will be outside this fn function so it will uh, the global will come here so x fn3 has printed again b because we didn't give any uh, local statements inside this fn3 function local print statements inside this fn3 function so here also print x fn3 here also it has printed b fn3 and then we call fn1 again so fn1 again the same as previously because it has taken b as uh, x and and as printed b fn1 and it came out of that function and here this uh, x this x is a here instead of printing a it has printed global because we have declared here global x and the global x and when we call this function fn3 here uh, that a has been replaced with global this variable x is equal to global and here it has printed out this global global out so now let us uncomment the fn2 fn2 is the non local variable this is fn2 function we have declared x as non local and given as an x is equal to non local and here also we will call it so uncomment this print x of n2 and now we will execute it again now let's see So fn as as called this function fn and this is uh, uh, fn1 here we called fn1 and we are given print statement here x fn1 so here it has taken fn1 has taken because uh, x is uh, local here local variable we are given outside that uh, fn1 function so this x has taken b as uh, as before so it has printed b fn1 
now we have uncommented this there in that uh, actual code so we we called fn2 and printed x fn2 so it went to fn2 and here uh, it is non local we declared non local x and x is equal to non local and this hasn't got any i mean look uh, i mean uh, any scope inside this uh, fn2 function so it, it it can come out of that uh, because it is non local it is not local to this fn2 function outside also this applies so x is equal to non local so when we said print x fn2 then it has printed non local here and fn2 and when we call fn3 it goes to fn3 and here we declare global x x is equal to global because this is outside the function fn here also x fn3 also it has still non local applies here so it has printed non local fn3 and then we called fn1 again here when we called fn1 initially before calling uh, the non local function we when we printed it it has taken b fn1 but when we called fn1 again after calling this non local variable function fn2 then now it has taken non x as non local so it has printed non local fn1 and then it will come out of this uh, function and uh, we are printing it x here because x here is a global x x is equal to global this a has been replaced by global and it has printed global out so when we when you declare it as non local x then uh, outside this uh, function fn2 also it has taken that uh, non local whatever we as an x inside this fn2 function that has applied as long as we are in this fn function that's why it has printed non local fn2 non local fn3 and non local fn1 again here so that's the difference between non local and local and global variables